To start off this look, I'm going to use the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. For foundation, I'm going in with the Maybelline Superstay Foundation in the shade 120. This is one of my favorite foundations, and I'm just going to blend that out using my Beauty Blender. For concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Fair and I'm using my Beauty Blender to blend everything out. And to set my face, I'm using another Maybelline product. It is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 110 Fair Light and I'm using my Beauty Blender to press this into my skin to make sure everything is set and locked in place all day long. To start off this eye look today, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and I'm taking the shade Buon Fuesco as my transition shade on a Morphe M441 brush. And I'm just working that into my crease. Once I have built the transition shade up to the intensity that I would like, I'm going in with the Morphe E47 brush and the Maybelline translucent powder to catch any fallout and clean up any harsh lines. Going back into the Modern Renaissance palette, I am taking the shade Love Letter on a Morphe E17 brush. I am packing this shade on the inner corner and the outer corner of my eyelid to create a halo eye effect. I keep packing that shade on until I get the intensity that I would like and I do take this shade into my crease a little bit but I keep it very low. You don't want to take this shade too high. I'm going back in with the first brush we used, the Morphe M441 brush. This brush has no product on it. Whatever's on it is left over from the crease shade and I'm just going to blend out any harsh lines. The key to this look is blending. I'm going back in with the shade Love Letter on an E17 brush to intensify that color and I'm blending the crease back out with the Morphe M441 brush. The next palette that I'm going in with is the Tarte Tardius Pro palette and I'm taking the shade Drama and No Filter on a Morphe E18 brush. I am packing these shades on the inner corner and the outer corner of my eyelid to deepen up the color. And again, I am using the Morphe M441 brush with no product on it to blend out the crease to get rid of any harsh lines. The key to this look again, like I said, is blending. Now I'm using my concealer and a Morphe M213 brush to cut the crease. I am starting right in the middle of my eye and then I am dragging the concealer out to create a halo eye effect. Take your time when doing this step. It's very easy to ruin the whole look by accidentally slipping your hand and getting the concealer all over your crease or in a different part of the eyelid that you don't want it to go. So just take your time, no rush with this step. Now I'm taking the Morphe E18 brush with no extra product to blend the edge of the concealer so we don't have any harsh lines. Next, I am taking the Alamar Cosmetics palette and I am using this a beautiful blue shade. I cannot pronounce the name. I have tried and I sound so dumb. I know I'm butchering the name. So just, it's on the screen. So, you know, just forget the name. Um, but it's so beautiful and I am just uh, packing that onto my eyelid using a Morphe flat brush. And I do use a little bit of setting spray to intensify the color. 
Next, I'll be taking the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the shade Midnight Cowboy and the NYX Glitter Kit 1 using the shade Emerald on an Aesthetic Cosmetics Eyeliner Brush. I am taking the Midnight Cowboy Glitter Liner and I'm drawing a line right where I cut my crease. And I'm using this instead of a glitter glue because this I can get really precise and the glitter that I will be putting over this will still stick on top and stay all day long. Now I'm taking the shade Emerald from the NYX Glitter Kit and I'm just packing that right on top of that Midnight Cowboy shade. We did get a little glitter fallout and the glitter line did get a little thick so I'm using that Morphe flat brush just to clean up any glitter. Now I'm using the Morphe E18 brush to clean up the edges of the halo eye so everything looks nice and blended. Taking the shade Celia from the Alomar Cosmetics palette, I am applying that right to the very center of that halo eye for a nice teal pop. Taking the shade Love Letter from the Modern Renaissance palette on a Morphe E18 brush. I am applying that to my lower lash line in sort of the same way I did to the top lid, creating a halo eye effect. Taking that blue shade again from the Alomar Cosmetics palette on a Morphe E36 brush, I'm applying that to the very center of the lower lash line. Now taking the Midnight Cowboy Glitter and the NYX Glitter Kit 1 using the shade Emerald, I will be basically repeating the same steps I did on the lid to the lower lash line. Going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit using the shade Blue Ice and Purple Horseshoe on a Morphe E36 brush. I am applying that to my inner corner for a really cool pop of color. I applied lashes and mascara and eyeliner and now I'm moving on to the face using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Rosewood Bronzer and my Benefit Cosmetics Hula Brush. I'm going to contour slash bronze up my face. I am bronzing my forehead using a Morphe R2 brush. I am using a clean Morphe M437 brush to blend out any harsh lines. Now I'm going to contour my nose using a Vintage Cosmetics Step 1 for the Money brush. All I'm doing to contour my nose is I am drawing two lines down the center of my nose, keeping them very close together in the center. I am contouring around my cupid's bow and the bottom of my lip to give the appearance of a bigger lip. Now I'm going to blend all that contour out using an e.l.f. concealer brush. I love this brush for this step and I just blend away. I quickly want to mention if my left eye, which would be your right eye if you're looking at me through the screen, looks red. It's because I stabbed my eye with eyeliner when I was putting eyeliner on and my eye got very red and very irritated after this and it hurt for two days and was red for two days after this. So please be careful with your eyeliner. <laughs> To bake my contour, I am using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and I have never used this powder before to bake 
And to be honest, I didn't really like it. I would much rather prefer my Maybelline Loose Fit Me Powder. So I probably won't be using this powder again for baking, but at least I gave it a try. For my highlight, I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter. This is such a beautiful highlighter. I decided to keep this look very wearable, but if you want to take it to the extra step, you could use the Moonchild Glow Kit for your highlight and it would look really cool. For blush, I'm using my Urban Decay Afterglow Blush in the shade Fetish on a Sonia Kashuk brush and this has a very nice mauve undertone and it really complements the eyes. Moving on to the lips, I'm using my Jonte Blue Lip Liner in the shade Spice to line my lips. For my lipstick, I'm using the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Celebrity Skin. I have not used this lipstick in a while and I forgot how beautiful it is. It's a very wonderful formula. Again, on the lips, I decided to keep the look very natural, but if you wanted to go the extra step, you could do a blue or a purple lip or something really fun and it would be really cool. I'm wiping away my bake using a Morphe M437 brush and I'm slightly running that brush just gently over my face also to blend all the products together. And last but definitely not least, to complete the look I am spraying some MAC Fix Plus onto my Beauty Blender. And I am pressing my Beauty Blender into my skin. I love this step. I cannot go without it. It just melts all the powders together and makes everything look very blended and very nice and natural, not cakey. I love it. And then I am finishing it off by spraying more MAC Fix Plus onto my face. This is the completed look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I loved getting creative and playing with a little bit more color and doing something fun. I kept the look very wearable by doing a bold eye but keeping the rest of my face very neutral. So I really hope you enjoyed this mermaid eye and if you did, please like and subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.